it's a big day for uh, our family. It's a big day for Cross Timbers Bison. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. Thank you guys for watching. We are in the, the loafing shed. Been working on getting it cleaned up and whatnot. I got a couple more things to do, but uh, it's a big day for uh, our family. It's a big day for Cross Timbers Bison and this channel. Uh, there is a new addition that's coming to the party and uh, gonna join, uh, join it all. And so uh, we're very excited. And I know a special uh, little one, Brooksy, will be very excited when she sees what pulls up here today here at the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch at the Ponderosa. And uh, I can't wait to show you this. I've got three barrels right here, uh, separated of different uh, feed rations and stuff like that and some cubes. So um, we will show you in just a second. We are waiting on um, the owners at the time, uh, the people that raise these animals and uh, really take uh, very, very good care of them. We're very excited for them to come over here and uh, they'll be here in just a little bit. So in the meantime, I'm kind of getting things prepped and ready. Uh, there's some cold weather coming in. Gonna bring some hay into the barn since the cold weather is gonna get rough here uh, for a couple of days, snow and ice possibly. So I uh, hope you guys are excited to see what's coming to the Ponderosa. Let's get it ready. She'll be able to just yeah, she smell will. them, and you know, I've got I've got five little calves right out here, so she'll be able to probably sniff yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, keep her coming. She's never <laughs> met calves either. Hi, oh, hello. I'm oh, good. How are you? Good. Right. Good. <gasps> What's in there? What's in there? <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what to hey, think. How are you? She's got some new guest. Watch that rooster. He will flog you. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all have chickens? I didn't. We have one rooster. Oh. It just, it just showed up there. Two guineas. Yeah. And two guineas? And two guineas. Brooks. 
She's like, what are all those loud things? <laughs> What's in there, babe? A horsey. That's right. It's your horsey. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, she's pretty. Here, hun. You might have a better. One. You got it. Jackie. Jackie Jack doesn't know what she Jack is. Oh, her dog. He she's loves used, her. She's okay. Like, okay. She's Jackie. No, she's used to dogs. Okay, good. But, I mean, it's when he loves her. He runs with her, plays with her, lays with her. So they can be, they'll be buddies. Yeah, <laughs> she's a good guard dog. She's been running coyotes off and stuff. Out here, so. What do you think, Brooks? Oh, she's really looking. Up. Yeah, she's like, what are those critters out there? <laughs> Sorry, that's this thing. <laughs> what do you think, babe? You see, pretty. Oh, she looks off the summer. She, she's Shine. beautiful. Yeah. I think she's beautiful. I was gonna say, I mean, she's pretty, right? She now. is. She's pretty. She right does now, have that. <laughs> I see more of that butter scotch. Is what you call it? Uh, buttermilk. 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 That's I couldn't remember. Really oh, oh, she's like, what are those <laughs> big brown things? She's a little unsure about stuff. Charlie. Charlie just hopped right up there. Oh, she's loving on you. Oh. Hey, girl. Get your butt out of my head. Off my head. Hey, Jack.
stop smelling at me. Trying to figure Charlie out, isn't she? <laughs> Get. Hey, there she is, babe. Pet her. Oh, hey, girl. Easy Brooks, too close, babe. Get back, okay? What a uh, what an exciting time. I wish it wasn't so cold. Brooks and Marissa are inside, so we'd spend a little bit more time with her. And uh, I'm oh, <laughs> chasing the rooster. <laughs> she uh, quickly kind of adapted to us and came up and was smelling of us and stuff. But it's going to take some time. Uh, you see, she's, all, she's already got a halter on her. Uh, because Ted and Darlene are awesome. They have some uh, great horses they have a great reputation of, of raising horses. And uh, so how did all this happen and whatnot? Well, I went riding with a buddy. His name's Mark. I grew up with Mark. I played football with him and stuff. We went riding horses, oh, back when it was a lot warmer, um, maybe in the spring or summer. I helped him work calves and whatnot, and we had a great time. And uh, anyways, I had rode a horse before. I don't have a whole lot of horse experience. I'll be the first to admit it. But I've been wanting to have a horse here at the ranch and kind of change up some methods of uh, maybe moving bison or rounding up bison, stuff like that. And, um, you know, something else for Brooks, too, as well, uh, here at the ranch, something uh, that we can work on together. Definitely a new project. So it kind of was on my mind, and Mark called me. I told him I was kind of interested in getting one. I wasn't sure what I wanted to get, a, a mature one that was, you know, broke and, and was easy to ride and whatnot, or get one that we could bring to the Ponderosa, raise ourselves, be around me, Brooks, and Marissa um, a lot, and around the bison. Start young. Mark said, hey, uh, Ted and Darlene, who are locals here in Sulphur, said uh, they've got a buckskin filly, and he was actually interested in her. When I say her, uh, what they called her is, I think, Crayson, or Crayson, I think is what she called her. It was the year of the seas. So what they did was, uh, Mark was interested in her, and he sent me a picture of her, and I said, ooh, I like her. And so um, he said, well, you can get her if you want. And I said, are you sure I don't want to take her from you? <laughs> and Mark already has plenty of horses, and he was like, no, man, it's okay. And so me and Mark and uh, went over there to visit Ted and Darlene. They showed us around, and... Uh, I just fell in love with her. I just have something about that buckskin that I love. So that was kind of the beginning of it. And uh, here we are. We've been keeping in touch. We've gone to visit her several times um, here and there. Uh, me and Brooks and Marissa have gone to visit her and see her at 10 Darlene's. And they're such great people. It's been, a, it's been fun. And uh, you guys can look them up on Facebook. They're Oak Creek Farms out of Mill Creek, Oklahoma. And, uh, you know, they've got a reputation of their horses. They actually worked with her. They put a halter on her. They trained her to get in a trailer. And as you could see today, they brought us to her. And, um, you know, they, they've got horses that are bought before they're even born. Um, you know, so that's, that says something right there. And I have a lot to learn about raising a horse um breaking a horse i don't know if i'll be breaking a horse that that'll be another day we'll talk about that we have a lot to talk about um with her and uh, i keep saying her because uh brooks and uh we haven't named her yet so uh that's kind of something that uh we're gonna have to figure out is we're gonna name her and i think just spending time with her 
uh, we'll be able to do that and we'll come up with a good name for her. So very excited, a lot to learn. And uh, you know, one thing, the same with bison, I like getting bison young because you can kind of learn from each other. As they grow up, they're learning from you and you're learning from them. And it's the same way um, with this uh, Philly buckskin that uh, Brooks is very excited to um to hang out with but like i said it's so cold uh, we uh we, we couldn't spend too much time outside so anyways uh can't wait to tell you more about her and you guys will see her more on this channel um as part of our family now we welcome her and uh can't wait to spend some time with her and get to know her because we uh we do have a lot of that to do and um i'm excited to do that with brooks um as well and uh so it'll be fun and uh, someday she will be a, a bison ranch horse. We're gonna hang out a little bit and watch her and make sure she's doing okay and uh, get her all squared away and taken care of. So anyways, thank you guys for watching us today. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I can't wait to uh, bring you along on all this journey with our new member of the Cross Timbers Bison family. Thank you guys.